Right, so well, seems a few of you are interested in this copper tape which I mentioned last week. Uh, I have used some just down at this end for some uh, wiring for me lighting. I don't know if you can see it, but that's positive and me negative, two strips down here. And literally all I've done is I've soldered onto it for some of my lights. Uh, I mean the ideal thing I suppose is you could light on top of your layout but I got this after I started but uh, I shall do some further later on with that, later at the side of the buildings etc. But it's far neater now like this, I mean when I get my curtain down there you won't see a thing will you but uh, nice and handy just to be able to solder onto the cup of tape. I'm just going to put some further up there and I'm going to use it for me uh, for my buzz wires, uh, I'll try and show you. Wire. It's come to here, which I usually put my droppers down and put a um, a connector on there, and then go onto the connector. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to tape this copper copper tape onto that board, and then I'll drop down and just solder onto there. So I'll I'll I'll, I'll stick that down, and uh, I'll I'll just show you my soldering it up. Then those are my buzz wires for the. One, two, three, four tracks. I want one on the other side, but uh, it's like anything. I started drilling and we've been drill run now. Battery's gone flat, so that's on charge just now. But I'll solder these on and then uh, I'll solder onto that uh, cup of tea. Right, as you can see, I've soldered these droppers on. And uh, taken it down to that uh, buzz line. I know, as like I said, the main idea probably with that copper is to uh, lay it aside of the track. But anyway, I've, I've, you can see what I've done. And I've soldered the four on there, four red and four positive, obviously. So I've soldered them together and soldered them onto that copper wire. And then what I shall do is just, I'll continue with this copper wire, because all you have to do is just lay it on top, of, you know, solder it back on top, stick it on top of the other, and just continue underneath. I'm far happier with that that I can. I can get my hands on it, touch it, sort of thing. Uh, if there's a problem, as like if you do it at the side of the track, and then you, I know they say put tape over, but if you put your ballast and everything over that, then of course you you, you can't uh, just reach it, can you? Anyway, yeah, that, uh, it's a good idea, is that? And I'm going to do it down the sides, then on the side, like I have further back there. Organ size, so I'm going to put it on the side here for my lighting and then just bring my lighting down. Right, let's see what else I've done. A different, uh, well, another example of, of how this copper tape really, I suppose, should be used, and it's probably the best way, is uh, on your on the layout top, of course, running alongside your tracks. You put two lengths down for your buzz wire. And then just uh, connect, just put your copper tape alongside your track, one either side, your positive and your negative. And then, that's all your droppers as we call them, onto each. That's a bit of Baker's soldering fluid, it always makes it a bit easier. where you've got to watch your fingers. I've probably done this wire too long but just to show you what, what I'm saying about how to set it up. So I was warning that 
Get in there. Yeah, that's your two wires fastened onto your bus. Just pretend that's your full track. And then what I'm saying is you could just cover that with some tape or what have you. This ain't connected up to mains, but of course you, you would be, wouldn't you? And then it would be easy enough to just sort of cover it over with ballast or what have you. Nothing works when you're in a rush, is it? Just a rough quick guide, um, you can put your ballast in there then. Damn. Ah. Making a mess of that, don't I? Let's just put the ballast on there. You can see what I'm getting at though. You've got your buzz line running either side, and then you put whatever you want, grass, ballast or whatever you're on, and cover it over. Uh, and that's the way I suppose I should have done it. But of course I didn't start until I got most of my track down with that uh, cup of tape. So as I showed you, I've run it down underneath and then run my droppers down to it. There's always show sure you got uh, I need some more on that uh, pond, but uh, yeah, we've got a good bit done this week. I'll just test that uh, second track out, run up to the in that area. The bridge. Uh, put that good yard, good uh, shedding. Uh, bringing it round. Stations, well, I put those down last week. I put the paving down and a bit more white lining. Anyway, it's uh, it's Thursday now. I'm going to just continue a bit more and then I'll, uh, I'll, I'll show you a bit more probably Friday, Saturday. Um, somebody suggested me to me about uh, expanding that uh, lake. Well, as you can see, I put the second suspension bridge up now. I've got the lake, I've extended it onto this side. Put a bit more walling up, still want some more fencing actually for around here. But the, if I get this half done for this weekend, I should be happy. And so that's, you know, halfway there. I have all this banking to do properly yet and ballast. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, see how far we get by Friday night. Another little uh, project to do in here. Using the uh, Pico line side kits which come in pieces like that and the strips of uh, brickwork and you can see I'm uh, building quite a long one here platform uh, it's not quite as easy as what I thought cutting the pieces exactly but uh, I've got two down I'm just using the ordinary uh, is it um, tarmac? Tarmac, that's it. Metcalf tarmac sheets. That's a short one, of course, but uh, that's all we do. Glue them on, and then I put a framework underneath to make it firm. Uh, I've still got the old platform building somewhere. Uh, it should fit on there. So hang on, as you see, 
it needs a bit of work done on it. I built that about seven or eight years ago, I think. It, uh, it comes in handy, doesn't it? You don't throw all these pieces away. Anyway, I'll show you when it's all done. Alright, well, still about to do on that uh, platform, but uh, the base is down now. So I went and uh, got some paint on one end and I only got one sheet of that tarmac left so I had to put a piece over but I think we'll be able to disguise it later. A lot of things you have to disguise in this game, ain't you? <laughs> right, we'll just give it a go up the incline. I've still got to paint that ballast and uh, of course paint the uh, Rust on the tracks. It seems to be going okay now. I had one or two hiccups as we do get them. Uh, I put the suspension bridge onto the lake before I'd actually line it up properly with the track, and of course I had to move the track further over. So that set me back another day or so, waiting for it all to dry. And of course the ballast is not dry yet. Then coming down this end, I put fencing all the way around that bottom end there and of course I put it uh, about a quarter of an inch too near to the track so of course a longer loco going around there we're catching it. So that's going to have to be looked at. Really you need a fence up don't you? Don't look right without but I think what I shall do is I'll take this siding out there so make the load wider and then I can put my fencing further back around here. That shape could go on, on this side here. Um, and just use that as a siding and say finish it somewhere like about there. And then that gives me my wider road. That's what happens when you don't plan. I never plan, you see, I just lay it and, and then I find out my mistakes afterwards. But yeah, I'm quite happy with it now, so far. I'm not going to be out for another couple of weeks because uh, Dave's going to go and uh, find a bit of sun for a few days. So it could be another fortnight or more before you see any more uh, changes on here. Uh, as I said, I'd going to finish it for Christmas, I hope to do, but I'll just swing round again and you know what I'm going to say about so how much there is uh, to do. As you can see, that bottom end there, it's about just over, just under half to do on both sides and then of course to manage to square it all up coming round the other side. Not sure if I showed it earlier on, but uh, you know I had that uh, rust to the track, well I use a spray <laughs> I spray it into a into a, an egg cup or whatever you um, and put it on with a brush I find it's a lot easier I can do it with a spray but you've got to cost you got to put a load of masking tape down but this is the easiest way to me just get it in your egg cup or holder whatever you've got paint holder and it's so easy It almost makes a nice finish to your track then. And of course as soon as you've done it, you get your rag, I'm not using my anchor this time, and just wipe the top of the rail before it dries. And then of course when it's all dried you go over the rubber. But you can see that's that's a quite a nice effect now. Right, that is it for this week. <laughs> 